Hello, lost boy. Welcome to Neverwood, the softer side of Naughty Land. Mm, pet? Is, is that you? Hmm. Welcome home. Mm-hmm. How was your night out? Oh, baby. Come here. Come lay your head in my lap. Tell me what's wrong, baby boy. Where are you going? Sweetheart. Sweetie, please talk to me. Don't lie to me. I know something is wrong, and I know, I know it wasn't just the drunk talking, so, so spill it. Sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm trying to help. Can I, can I at least hold you? All right. I'll just lay in the bed next to you and wrap you up in my arms. Mm, Like that. Mm, My poor pet. Why are you upset? You... You don't want me to call you pet anymore? Why don't you know? Take a guess. Why don't you want me to call you pet anymore? Did something... Did something happen? What happened, honey? Your friends? What about them? Oh, you told them about us. About how our relationship works, you mean? Oh, and they didn't respond well, did they? Oh, sweetie, it's okay. Mm. Well, it's okay because they don't have to understand. They just... They just have to accept it if they're real friends. Baby, turn around. Look me in the eye. Good. Now, think about it for me. Do we hurt anyone? That's a simple question. Does what we do hurt anyone? No, it doesn't, does it? My sweet boy. Do you enjoy it? (laughs) Yeah. I feel like you're blushing, even though it's too dark to see. So if we're not hurting anyone, and we both enjoy it, then what's wrong with it? You can't think of anything, can you? Well, that's because there is nothing to think of, okay? There's nothing wrong with how our relationship works. You've got no less of a say than I do. Well, yeah, you are 50% of this relationship. Might be female-led, but you still have as much say as I do. Limits, uh, safe words. Then I do follow your moans and your whimpers to figure out what feels good. I'm not just taking advantage of you, right? But some people don't, I just don't understand that. They hear dominant and submissive. And they assume that you might be in some kind of danger. That maybe I'm abusing you. And they don't, they don't know me, do they? They don't know that I would never, never hurt you. Mm. (laughs) True. I would never hurt you beyond what you ask me for. Right? That's fine. I, I honestly don't care what they think about me. I care that you're okay. I care that you're hurting right now. That it seems like maybe you're experiencing shame. Are you ashamed of me? No? Oh, are you ashamed of you and what you like? Hmm? Hmm. 
it's okay. Coming out is hard. And sometimes we find that the people we thought we could trust with who we are are maybe not as open-minded as we once thought. It doesn't mean anything bad about you, and it certainly doesn't mean anything bad about them. It just might mean they aren't the people to share this vulnerable part of you with. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Can I, do I have your permission to call you pet again? Oh, good. Thank you. My lovely, adorable pet. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, no, come here. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. There is nothing to say sorry for. I'm not hurt. These conversations are good. We get to talk about it and connect. And I get to snuggle you. <laughs> hey, stop that. You are not stupid. Well, you're a little tipsy, but no, you are not allowed to call yourself stupid. Do you understand? No, pet. Look at me. You forced my hand. I'm going to sit on your belly. And I'm going to make you look at me. <laughs> I will tickle you if you aren't careful. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Bouncing on your hips? Well, because I love you. Because you're worth the effort. Even if you think you're not. Lies. Slander. And because I want to see my pet smile just a little bit. Oh, no, none of that. You listen to Miss. And you listen good. You, boop, are a wonderful person. Even though your brain doesn't let you think that. You are addicted to thinking crap thoughts about yourself. <laughs> I love you. I love you dearly. And I don't think there is a negative thought in my head about you. No. Why, well, you're not whiny. You're not needy. You certainly aren't stupid. And you're not lazy. All of those things are the things your brain tells you. And it's naughty. It's a naughty brain it's lying to you. <laughs> well, you're absolutely worthy of my love. I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe that. <laughs> of course, I really think that. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. <laughs> Do you like me bouncing on you? Well, you can't get away, and you seem distracted. Oh, baby boy. I don't mind comforting you. That's it's what a good partner does, right? And you come for me when I'm stressed, when I have a headache. You hold me. You remind me that you love me, even though I am not perfection. I'm honestly glad I can be a source of comfort for you, baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really am. I adore that I can make you feel safe sometimes. Mm. I know that I'm not the hero. If you really wanted to be stubborn, <laughs> then you wouldn't allow me to help you feel better. You could really just tell me to go away. You could be stubborn and stay in your emotion of uh, loathing. I might tickle you, though, so be warned. Uh, yeah. Now? Okay, so no more self-hate. 
Nobody gets to talk crap about my pet. Not strangers, not your friends, not my friends, not me, and definitely not you, okay? Well, you're borderline insulting my taste at this point. Do you understand? <laughs> Good. Now, get off your belly and we can cuddle a bit because... Because I want to. And you need to sleep. It's late. Well, I think you'll feel better once you sleep off those drinks you had tonight. You do seem a little tipsy. And I'll just hold you. Mm-hmm.